We're joined today by Dato Wee Yao Hin, the 8th IPTC Executive Committee Co-Chairman and Executive Vice President and CEO of Upstream Business for Petronas. Dato Wee, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us today. As you know, IPTC rotates between the Middle East and Asia annually. It was last held in Malaysia in 2008 and will return this December 2014. Now, why is holding IPTC in Asia important to the region and Malaysia? Thank you, Joe. Asia is going through tremendous change. It is the engine of growth for the global economy. And Asia will need energy solutions from outside of the region and also within Asia in the development of its hydrocarbon resources. The IPTC will provide the collaboration opportunity for the expertise and the knowledge of the oil and gas industry in the region where the engine of growth is. It will provide the platform for both industry experts and business experts to come together and share knowledge and look for challenges and opportunities to, on the development of oil and gas. That's why the theme of this year's IPTC is innovation and collaboration, a key to affordable energy. The immense success of the inaugural OTC Asia in KL in March this year is testimony to why the IPTC will be held in KL in December this year. Thank you, Dato, for that insightful response. And why is Petronas hosting IPTC this December? And what are some of the benefits for attendees? I see three good reasons why Petronas is hosting the IPTC this year. Number one, Petronas has grown into a major and global oil and gas company with capability across all the aspects of the upstream industry. Secondly, the oil and gas service industry of Malaysia has matured to a high level of technical and technology expertise. And thirdly, of course, Malaysia is quite centrally located in the whole Asia region. Mm. So with these three attributes, I think we provide that platform, an effective platform for an IPTC where people can get together, the experts, both technical experts and business experts, to get together and share knowledge in addressing the challenges and opportunity of the oil and gas industry. I think the benefits is this sharing of knowledge and at the same time we have a very strong uh, multidisciplinary technical program which go across address the key issues, many of the key issues that the uh, industry is facing now. And there are a number of panel sessions from CEO panel session to executive panel session and also technology leaders panel sessions. In addition, we have a mid-gas stream session to look at the importance of gas in terms of the commercial and also the technology part of the gas industry. And there's also an exhibition which features you know, all the technologies across all disciplines and across uh, many countries in a 4,500 meter square of exhibition space. So I think it's an exciting time for people to come and join us and take part in all of this. You mentioned the multidisciplinary conference program and also the trade exhibition. I wonder, what do you think some of the other highlights of IPTC will be for attendees this year? The highlight is, of course, the platform itself where people can then get together, network and share knowledge and supported by the strong multidisciplinary uh, panel sessions and technical program that I talked about earlier. But in addition to that, we have two unique features. One of them is a ministerial session in which a number of ministers from various countries will speak immediately after the opening. And then we have a quite a strong portfolio of talent development program from young professional workshop and forum to education week, education days, and also for the students and teachers there as well. 
Thank you very much, Dato, for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you again at the 2014 IPTC from the 10th to the 12th of December, this year in Kuala Lumpur for the 8th International Petroleum Technology Conference. Thank you, John.